Hello, all and sundry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, good afternoon and Happy New Year. I am here today to talk about New Year's resolutions. Um, growing up and in all throughout my 20s, I didn't really like the idea of resolutions. Not in practice, anyway. I would sometimes write things down, but I would never get them done. And I think part of it was all the baggage that goes with the word resolution and, you know, you've got to do all these things in the new year and I never did and so I didn't like it. Um, when I was in Glasgow, my flatmate, Rachel, um, was very, very organized. She loved getting things done, writing them down, and she was always successful. And I think a little bit of that rubbed off on me. Also, using the word goals instead of resolutions has really helped me. And if you don't like the word goals or resolution, pick a word that will hopefully inspire you, like intention or some such. Use the thesaurus, find a good word. Um, I think another big part of setting and fulfilling goals is desire. Pick things that you really love and really want to get done, and then hopefully you'll get through some of them. I never tick off everything on my list, but I get a lot of it done, enough to help me feel like I've succeeded by the end of the year. Um, this year, I'm sort of in two minds. I want to work on a lot of hand sewing, sort of Regency Jane Austen era, but I also want to use my machine and all of my patterns from 1910s to about 1970s, I've got tons, um, and get some of those patterns utilized and use up some of my big fabric stash. So this is my room. Up above here, I've got lots of bags full of stuff. I'll get one of them down and show you. I counted some of my patterns, all of my patterns. I have about 45. That's a lot. I need to use them. Um, last year, I bought this lovely fabric, a light cotton for a 1920s dress. So, you know, that would be good. Lovely yellow and orange and brown. Some of my favorite colors. Um, but my sister Morag and I acquired some really, really excellent patterns from a woman she knows last year. And I've got a bunch and I need to use them. Such as this lovely gem from the 1950s. Look at those suspenders. Oh my goodness. I've got some really nice early, not early, late 30s ones as well. Um, let's see, I've got this dress from the lovely Decades of Style that I need to try out one of these days, yes. Um, my fabric stash is underneath my bed, so I won't go around and get that, but, um, I think it's kind of fun to write a big list of, like, everything you wish you could do, um, that you know you won't get done, but at least it gets it all down. And you can have an idea of what is ahead and what you can maybe work on or start if you don't get it all finished. And then you can maybe write a list of more manageable projects. You can either break them up by type or by month. Um, I've written a couple lists on my laptop, which I don't have on me. And I'm not gonna go upstairs because my niece is asleep. So let's just leave it be. Um, but I hope that in whatever way works for you, whether it be with pen, pen and paper or on your phone or on your laptop or what, what have you, um, that you'll be able to write down some things you want to do. Um, I have writing projects as well. I want to read a lot. I almost got 30 books read this past year, but didn't quite make it. So I'm going to try and read at least the new books this year. And I want to finish the novel that I've been working on, the first draft, and maybe start reworking that this year as well. Um, so the next 12 months are going to go by fast. We all know that. And um, it's good to start thinking now about the months ahead and what we can hopefully get done. So, if you want to share any of your ideas for writing, 
down goals or resolutions or ways in which you can keep them, um, please share in the comments and otherwise we will be keeping in touch and see you soon. Thank you. Bye.